Time's now 1214. Let's get back over to Peyton. Thanks, Leslie. And you know, we're talking about hurricane season. There's nothing that's an imminent threat to really anyone, nothing major at least, but um, we're just getting you prepared for what could be a very busy season this afternoon. Still watching some showers. We have some showers if you're heading out right now, but there will be plenty of dry weather mixing in at times and temperatures luckily staying in the 80s. The big widespread rain is just to our west from Morgan City to the west through the Atchafalaya there. You've got some rain and it's a steady light rain, but here in southeast Louisiana, just some spotty down downpours and they are tropical showers, so at times they are heavy. It's windy. If you're at the lakefront, the winds are going to be blowing out of the east, gusting to 30 nearly. Same thing, Bell Chase. Shell Beach has got gusty winds and we've got gusty winds along the coast up to 30 miles an hour. This is thanks to our developing tropical disturbance. This is a large low pressure. We call this the Central American Gyre. It's just a large area of moisture that started out over Central America. It's now lifted into the Southern Gulf here. And if you look at satellite, there's really hardly anything going on near the center. So this truly really isn't tropical in nature right now. All the active weather is far away from the center on the north and east sides. You can see the cloud cover and rain just off of our coast. So this is going to continue to head to the west. It may become Tropical Storm Alberto, regardless of whether it has a name or not. It's going to cause a same impacts. Big rain heading to Texas along with some squally conditions with those gusty winds and a little bit of storm surge by a couple of feet or so. So the track here, if it does have a center, that's probably the quietest part of the entire thing. That'll move inland just north of Tampico, Mexico by tomorrow night. Notice here we are Wednesday night could have 50 mile an hour winds or so and then it'll move inland and start to weaken considerably, but still dumping a lot of rain. So broad circulation, sending that rain mainly to Texas. Here we are tomorrow morning and afternoon. Not much happening here, just a few storms, but the widespread rain just getting pushed into Texas there from Houston to Corpus Christi to Brownsville and San Antonio. And then that will continue to move into the mountainous areas there of uh, Mexico. So our impact, really the biggest impact was yesterday with heavy rain today.